Hello everyone, um, it's Brad again. Uh, my first video I showed you guys how to spoof a MAC address, uh, an XP or Vista or even Windows 7 Beta, um, using a program called Mac Makeup. Um, there's not a, uh, well there might be a program for an OS 10. you don't need one, um, so I'm not going to bother using one if it does exist, because uh, you can just use the terminal command. Um, some uses for spoofing a MAC address could be um, a lot of universities have no limit bandwidth, you know, one gig a day, two gig a day. Um, and they monitor all that usually with your MAC address. So you change your MAC address, you get a whole new uh, set of bandwidth to work with. So, you know, if you get two gigs a day, use your first two gigs, spoof a different MAC address, get another two. Um, just uh, a little useful tip. Um, so here we go. In uh, OS 10, just open up a terminal, type in if config. EN0, it's going to be your MAC address, uh, or sorry, your Ethernet adapter. A little up and down bar thing, it's above the backspace key, I'm not sure what it's called, don't really care. Uh, grep, G R E P, Ether. Hit enter. What that's going to do is going to show you your current MAC address. Write that down, you're going to need that um, when you want to be done spoofing and go back to your original. Um, so write that down, keep it somewhere, don't lose it. Um, now to spoof it, you're going to type in sudo, that'll do it with administrative privileges, if config en0, which current ethernet adapter, um, ether, and then whatever MAC address you want to spoof. Um, I'm not going to put one in, I don't feel like changing um, my MAC address for anything, um, but whatever MAC address you put in here, that will be um, set as your MAC address for your ethernet adapter. Um, when you want to go back to your original, write the same command we're using to spoof, um, but when it, where you put the MAC address, put your original MAC address. So it'll, I guess it'll spoof your original MAC address. Um, so this is that. That's all you need to do. Um, when you hit enter on this command, it might ask you for a password. Um, just go ahead and enter your password. And uh, that should get you going. Have any questions? Uh, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll see if I can answer them. Um, if I went too fast in the video, I'll have all these commands in the uh, video description. And thanks for watching.